What's up, y'all? This is Daniel. And this your boy, Damo. Oh, oh. And this your boy, Levante. And this the Born Leader Wrestling Podcast. It's terrible. Um, nigga news. Nigga news. Nigga news. Um, so it was rumors that Gang Grill was supposed to walk out um Edge at WrestleMania and Christian and all this shit supposed to happen. Uh huh. Gang Grill said WWE never contacted him. So oh, so he doesn't rumors. know what he yeah. doesn't know what nothing. Yeah. <laughs> he was never supposed to walk him out. It sounded right, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But AEW Tony Khan did say I gave them from uh, Christian permission. And do you think they was really gonna use Christian? No. no. But, Thank you. <laughs> but, no, I'm not about to use listen, a fucking. When Edge came out, he didn't come up to uh, uh, the the brood. It was some other shit. Yeah, it was like some devil. Yeah, shit. it was some other shit. Um, Jake the Snake was on Black TV. He did an interview with Black TV. Oh shit! And he said that it was more women. He he, he seen with his own eyes. He snitching, dry snitching. He seen he he seen with his own eyes um, more than the women. I guess Vince did. I guess they found Vince three women, three yeah. or four, and um, Jake the Snake says more than that. He seen with his own eyes. It's Nigga, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> hey, hey, he hey. With John. That's, hold, what, that's what it is. Hold up, hold up. He said he know, you know one we, of them too. We know we bias with who snitched or not. He get a pass like on his D. He don't get a pass. Like, nah, fuck all what? that, man. He John was, there, not a snitch. Where he at? He just snitched. <laughs> he gone. What he said? No, that, that nigga fell in he love. Got caught up. Yeah, yeah he, he that nigga fell in love. They caught his ass. He just snitch. Yeah. Kobe Ryan snitch. Who? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he snitched on Shaq. Yeah, he snitch. He said Shaq do it. Shaq did it too. <laughs> I should have did it like Shaq. That ain't even dry. That's just real snitch. Yeah. <laughs> he did the point too. He called his name and everything. He didn't say another member on my team. <laughs> oh no, Shaq did it. Uh, Why the fuck you said that? <laughs> I she was fucked up. WWE, he, they moved headquarters. They got they not in Titan Tower no more. They uh, got Connecticut. Mm-mm. Well, I don't know if it's still Connecticut, but they got a new headquarters. Is that because of the merger, or is that because probably of- so? Got to bring everything together. Yep. Um, Bloodline and Cody Rose was the top selling merch at WrestleMania week. Yes, Hell it yeah. was. That was the only merch. It really was. <laughs> it, really, it really was. And belts. Bloodline hats. Yep. First it was Cody. Cody was number one, and then Bloodline's right under. Yeah. Yo, Darian Inglewood. All that blood shit was being sold. <laughs> Whoa. Everybody <laughs> all, all that my, shit. My hat in the house. I'm going to put my bloodline. Oh, I got my finger. Hold on. You got what? <laughs> pause. Yeah, what? <laughs> so he said no, you got, pause. So he said he got fingered. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got fingered. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I can believe that. Nigga, I didn't bought the hundred dollars worth of blood line shit. I didn't even see they had the finger shit. Yeah, all that's on the fourth floor. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was the R deck. <laughs> it was it ratchet deck. <laughs> ratchet. We ain't on the ratchet deck no more. Nah. On oh, seven uh, days. AEW Fight Forever video game still not ready to release. Nigga. Ooh, Target just advertised the shit like it came out yesterday. Yo. I swear to God. Like, I'm, that's going to be like the Shazam movie. Nigga. Do it actually <laughs> exist. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker literally after CM Punk in the middle of the cover. I mean, he still got contract on it. Yeah, I, I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> Bret Hart advised fans to turn off John Moxie matches. <laughs> Bret Hart, that nigga don't give <laughs> nigga a fuck. Said, nigga, all you see him is with a fork. <laughs> Bret Hart, you just a fucking salty motherfucker, man. That nigga, Bret, nothing make you happy. He don't give a fuck. Vince, Damn. Vince Russo said nobody cares about damage control breaking up. I hate Vince Russo. He a hater too. Who's Vince Russo? He used to be a writer for WWE. Back in the days. Oh, yeah. Vince Russo. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that bitch ass nigga. Um. Kill. Fucking WFCW. That's all nigga news. I want to go through one more. Th- I want to go I through. I got a nigga news. What? I'm gonna, after you done, I'm going to go through Dave Meltzer WrestleMania matches rate. Like rating the matches. It was a nigga news. Did y'all talk about Charlotte last week? Taking try. a break? Oh, yeah. To do the muscle the bodybuilding thing? Yeah. Did y'all also talk about. Uh, aim, um, Hey Marie, your girl. Mm-mm. She coming back. She is. Yeah. They. 
She's not going back, but they're saying that she's open to come back. She's an open contract. All right. yeah. She's having a contract negotiation. Come yeah, back. she's open to coming back, but nothing has been she confirmed. She's going to come back as a heel. <laughs> they hate her. Come oh, with, she might come back with some yellow hair. Another nigga news. Um, Logan Paul resigned. Fuck. I he thought, I, for one I thought that was photoshopped. No, nah, wow. what happened was he signed. He really signed a year, but he photos like, so last year when he signed, it was him, Triple H, and Stephanie. Oh. And he had like a blue jacket with the blue prime. Yeah. He re-signed WWE, but I guess he couldn't get the picture with Triple H, mm-hmm. so he just photoshopped Stephanie out and then changed his jacket color yeah. and then changed the prime color yeah. and just said he re-signed. But he really did re-sign for one year. So, But he said, like, he wants the belt. Yeah, he not getting that. Yeah, they he, he he might get the IC. He not getting the heavyweight. No, nah, he ain't getting no damn IC. He better not get that. Who going to beat Gunther? I'm saying, like, if somebody beat Gunther, then he beat the person that beat Gunther. I don't they know. gonna is make a belt for that nigga. Raw? That nigga is pay per views only. That yeah. nigga ain't did a regular <laughs> fucking match ever. Yeah. That nigga got three he's matches. A, he's PLE. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he is. Um, Dave Meltzer, shout out to I think T and Keep on or something. Yeah, T and Keep on or something. This. So Dave Meltzer broke down every single match from WrestleMania, just like the um, ratings, like one point, two point, three, yeah. whatever. Five star to zero. Yeah. So Austin Theory and John Cena got a two point. Two and a half. That's my bad. That's right. Um, That's deserve it. The man's um, Royal Rumble. I mean, the man's showcase got a three. That's trash. Um, It should have been up higher. Logan and uh, Seth Seth got a 4.5. That should have been a little bit higher. Trish, Lita, Becky, Damage Control, all them. They got a two. Okay. Should have been less. (laughs) Ray and Dominic got a four. That should have been higher. Charlotte and Rhea Ripley got a four. That should have been. A, that should have been. Uh, that should have been five, six, five. How many out of what? Four out of what? Four five. out of five. Out of five? That should have been five. Yeah. Well, everything is out of fives. Okay, yeah. I, I'm, I'm I'm fucked up. You want to go back there one more time, please? All right, John Cena and um, Theory is two. She got a one. <laughs> uh, the man's showcase is a three. She got a fucking five. The Seth and Logan is a four. She got two. Trish. Dem- no, I'm sorry. Should have had three. Trish damage control and all them. That's the two zero. Raymond and Do- Ray Mysterio and Dominic is a four. I give it that Charlotte and Rhea is a four. Should have been a five. The Miz and Pat McAfee is a one point five. Makes sense. Should never been on the card. Yeah, shouldn't have. And then he gave the Usos and Kevin Owens a fucking five. That's crazy. How you give them a five but don't give Rita and Charlotte a five? That nigga because hates because it got a story behind it. That's why it had drama and everything. That you, you know how we like put together a match. We won in a match. Everything in that match had everything that you were wanting. I still want to give it. She that. ripped tied Charlotte gave. Flair. I would have flipped that. I would have gave. I would have gave the Usos a number four and Rhea Ripley and Charlotte a five. That was the match of the night. That exactly. Yeah. And I want to apologize. But, and I said that that should have been the main event. That should have been the main event. Like looking but, on paper. But everybody I'm like, said this that. Made everybody event. said that the Charlotte, the, the Charlotte and Rhea Ripley match that took event. the night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You no. Know? But the reason why the the Uso match got a five was because of what. How it was, it, it was built feeling, up. The feeling like, oh and my the, God. Yeah, yeah like, sure. The pop and all that shit that happened afterwards. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, well, you don't because you biased right now, dog. No, I'm, I'm not biased. It's not biased. That's this not biased. Right. This is actually fact. Charlotte Flair performed her fucking ass off and yeah. took those bumps. Like, if, if you want to say I'm a hating right here, but I'm not really hating. She took some of them bumps like Rick. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, she took some of them bumps like Rick. That fucking Uso and Chill shit. All that shit, bro. Niggas, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was damn near falling asleep at that match. Nigga, like, it was like a long night. Like bro. I'm not denying that, but come on, what, bro. What what saying that when you watch the Usos in the Sami Zayn match, and them, the reason why he got a fire was because everybody was talking about the story and all that shit. Everybody was there for really that shit. It's just, hey, something that happened. I didn't even know that match was coming. Charlotte and <laughs> Charlotte and Rhea, they stole the night. They did. I don't think they expected it to go like that. But because it did, we are should that shit was a great match. Let's be but let's say if that match didn't happen, you'd have been like, okay, the Usos and the Kevin, they took the night. Bro, let's be real. We were sitting happen. in the same section. We thought it was over at the little Uzi verse that I want to rock, rock, rock. We thought that shit was done. We was about to be <laughs> out of there. Then the Usos came out. Then the Usos all of a sudden. We forgot about that fucking match. Uh, you didn't? No, when well, they said that it was coming up on the screen. No, the fuck they did. Charlotte Flair. I didn't think I didn't forget about it, but I'm like, it, at that at that point <laughs> of the night, I was already drained and tired. I didn't really give a fuck about the match, to be honest. It, it was a good match. 
But it wasn't better than Charlotte and, and Rhea. I'm not saying that, but I get I get why he gave it a five. I'm not hating on the match. I'm just saying yeah. they should reverse it. I, I think, think Charlotte so should get too. it five and they should get a four. The match was good. Um, good match, but that fucking it wasn't better than than, than Charlotte and fuck. And then nigga, she dropped that bitch on her face. Night two, Brock Lesnar almost. He gave that a three. That nigga's so you saying that that as fuck, bro? Yeah. So he, yo, I'm not. Yo, no, you 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 the Dave Meltzer. You yeah. you was homeboy. You, so, yeah, that's your that partner. match, I get that shit a fucking one though. I wouldn't even give it a one. I gave that shit a zero. <laughs> yeah, yo, but y'all fucking y'all asking me, so I get that shit a one. <laughs> well, but nigga, yeah. but you don't get one kick out. That's get, why he. That, that's why get it's the one, one. Like no, fuck three, that. three. Because maybe maybe he's a. a was actually, I was actually happy that he didn't kick out. Like Let's I get, get this it, shit but we're talking about a performance of a match, right? But it's unfortunate that they built an Omar like this weak ass giant. He's you know a weak ass giant. That nigga nice. <laughs> I mean, when you lose against when you lose against Brock, you're not a weak ass giant because you lost against Brock. Not like you but, lost against Dog Diggler. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got you saying call him Diggler now. He lost against Brock. Hey, yeah. Diggy. <laughs> yo, yeah, you doing too much. Hey, yo, Diggy. <laughs> Diggy. <laughs> What's up, Diggy? I think dig, three, three, three is just being like, like nice. Nice, yeah. Because really, nobody care about the fucking match. The woman showcase was a 2.5. Yep. He gave that 2.5. He gave that shit a fucking three. Okay, so I want to hear y'all, but I want to hear y'all um, take on this. He gave it was a good match, but he gave Gunther and Sheamus and Drew a five. No, I don't why? think that was better than I don't think that was better. But I can it you. wasn't okay. But up, it, it wasn't no storyline to it. Like no, you saying about about you right. What's the name? But the reason why that five happened was because of Gunther's history and how he performed in the ring. It wasn't the he whole barely match, performed, but Gunther it was, was more. It was more Drew was, was more about yeah. Gunther, Drew and Gunther in that match fighting. It didn't matter if he just came in and did five shots. They gonna get that shit big of how it finished. Like him showing nah, dominance. Hell no. Nah. Nah, you Fuck know why that. he got that? Because Jay Mister is an old fucking wench, and this old fucking wench like big, tall, buff motherfuckers. And he seen that he thought he saw Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, <laughs> and Macho Man in the ring. I mean, that's what I'm. T- what? I honestly would have gave that match. Me personally, I would have gave that match a three and a half. That Gunther and see, three. and I, I would have gave it a four. And the reason why I would have gave it a four is just because somebody put up the stats of how many chops and how many uh, pounds that they got. Uh, and he was, they was pounding it. Oh, yeah. That shit was low-key gangster, Pause. bro. Pause. <laughs> Don't get fingered. Um, <laughs> but but that, was, that was a good match. It was a good match. Gunther, literally, be honest with you, as strong as a finish that Gunther did, Gunther didn't look strong that whole match. It was more Drew and Sheamus. It was more Drew and Sheamus. He yeah. just came in for the steal. Yeah. It's like that nigga was not fitting in. He was in an awkward situation. Yeah. <laughs> he got a few chops in. He laid down. They pound the fuck out of that nigga, Paul. So it was, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Take a turns, pause. <laughs> Tag team, back again. Pause. Uh, I would have gave this match because I'm biased a five. Bianca versus Oscar. No. What you give it? Oh, before I before I tell you what he gave it, he gave it a three. What you gave it? I give it a four. He gave it a three and a half. I give it a four only because I felt like Oscar were like and, and, and Bianca they really had like back and forth moments. Like it, it was it was a match. I don't know, it was the one more. thing I don't like about wrestling, they don't throw nobody to the rope no more. No, they don't. <laughs> yeah, no. That's Actually, you really hold on, hold on. Unbiased. Mm-hmm. What you give it? Unbiased. Let's say Bianca was uh, Kelly Rowland. I'm, bi- <laughs> I'm biased. I would have gave it a three. Okay. Because I think it was more Oscar in that match. Bianca came it at was. the end. Oscar was doing the kicks, the, the submissions. Oscar was, I mean, Bianca was really like selling most of the match. She just came out of nowhere the last two minutes and won. It was more Oscar. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I would have put that. That's as how a match goes sometimes. We're like, like, like the chap look like they ain't winning. Then they have that, that comeback shit. Mm-hmm. But the storyline leading you talking about the storylines. Yeah, storyline leading up to it was terrible. But that's why the match was had to be good. The match wasn't. It wasn't good. I think you could have put that. You could have put Omos and Brock on the first show opening. No, you you could have moved something around because they could have opened one of them shows. I didn't Ooh. have to see that all the way through. I'd have to see that that late in the day. Ooh, Brock and Oscar. I mean, um, uh, Bianca, Bianca and Oscar. I'd have to see it that late in the day. It was late. I think you put. It was. I mid. think you should have um, put the women. I think you should have started off with the women showcase. Mm-hmm. Started that off first. 
And then I think you should have went Gunther, Sheamus. And then I think you should have went Edge, Hell in the Cell, and then Bianca. Put them too high. You put Bianca in. Because I'll you can't have the women's too close. The women showcase it. You can't have back-to-back women matches. I you agree. I, I was saying switch them up. Put one on one day, one on another. But you can't because you yeah, can't have. Championship yeah, championship on one day. Okay, do that. I get you. It makes sense there. Um, and then you had you can't have the yeah you can't have a man showcase and a woman showcase too. I agree with you. No, you was a green with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it wasn't. A, it, it was a decent match, but it wasn't good. I like the fact that Bianca picked the motherfucker off deadlift off the ground. Oscar with the spit and shit that shit was terrible. I, it's just to me, it just didn't go. The whole match was just like uh, I think it did. I do think we got to watch it over on TV. I did. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I still didn't like it. He was a hater. <laughs> no, I, so, I'm just being honest. The Miz versus Snoop Dogg. He got a one. How, How the man, fuck? Man, I get that shit a five. You know why? <laughs> it wasn't supposed it, to it happen. And he stood up and did that shit. Yeah. I get that shit a five because Snoop wasn't supposed to do man, no fucking. On top of no, that, that we he went L.A. Eaglewood. Nigga, yeah. the fuck was this nigga talking about? Dave Mitchell would kiss my ass, nigga. What, Snoop was supposed to do a suplex? <laughs> huh? the, the way he bounced off them ropes. <laughs> he, he, said he, there, bounced, <laughs> he leaned on that shit. Yeah, he like, said, What's up? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> you know what it is. You ain't never seen a gay Celine before? <laughs> Hold on, no, on some real shit. Fuck you, Dave Mister. Look, <laughs> that was a. <laughs> that Dave was Mister. a. That was Milk the dope. Sir. First of all, you in motherfucking L.A. <laughs> and you talking this bullshit. You, on, t- on top of that, Snoop said several times, I rap. I don't wrestle. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga said that shit a thousand times. And your bitch ass, well, yeah, that's a fucking fire for all the improv. You should give fucking shaming man a motherfucking cane. He didn't, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even put that shit on there. He didn't put that on there. Um, Edge versus Finn Balor, he gave it a three and a half. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. I think the most the highlight was the, the props. <laughs> yeah, him That's, getting hit with the ladder, a like, red a red chair, like what the, man. It was terrible, bro. That was you on WrestleMania. If you don't go on top of the cage for WrestleMania, I think live and that was hype for the Hell in a no, Cell live. Yeah, was, that was man, the Hell in a Cell. Yeah, yeah, you never want to see that shit ever yeah, again. I, yeah, especially if that motherfucker was red, it would have really been mad. You know what they should have oh, did? If you gonna do it, do a fucking Inferno match. If you, you gonna do all the demon and shit. That would have been fire. There's no fucking fire in the ring. So you, you'll come out with fire, and then you the devil, and there's no fire in the ring? <laughs> Nothing got lit up? Nothing? Just a bust of fucking head? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, Edge when he came out there and said, Man. that motherfucking fire would have raised higher? Yeah. The Yo, fucking, I'm sorry. Don't, don't metal, like, don't it make shit hotter? Yeah. So he come up with a metal ass mask on with fire. Isn't that a safety hazard? <laughs> it probably wasn't metal. It looked, okay, nigga, mirrors. <laughs> it, it, probably, it probably was plastic and the mirrors was taped on that shit. So if it would have melted on his face and that shit could have come off, he's not Jim Carrey. He don't get a single power with that shit. This nigga's stupid. This nigga's going too deep. I, like, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, Nick, what? Edge, you been in wrestling your whole life. You never had no fucking mask on. Today you want to put one on? It was yeah, so I many understand that. Weird ass nigga. So different. You know what nah. I'm saying? Everybody interests. Everybody got. You know, Oscar had. A, they had the little Oscar people too. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Nobody, nobody cared that. after the girls from Compton. Well, uh, after the little to... girls from Compton, nobody gave a fuck. <laughs> no, I never because I was on the because side. I didn't see that. That's, uh, that's the Japanese lion shit. Yeah, like, I didn't they, see that. They like it's a, uh, like they have parades and shit about that. Uh-huh. Like, like like Japanese New Year and shit. Yeah. And they come out. So that that was her hair. Chinese New Year. Yeah, that's I, her seen her, I seen it on Instagram. It's I'm like, Japanese. I didn't, I didn't yeah. see that. This nigga said Japanese New Year. Nigga, it's China New Year. <laughs> what the fuck? Nigga, one of the motherfuckers yeah, here. Yeah. God damn. Yo, it's the same shit. No, <laughs> it's not. Motherfuckers come out doing the shit with the lines. Nigga, nigga so are you a nigga or are you uh, a Jamaican? Nigga, the right thing I do, we supposed to say Korean? They all just fall under Korean. Yeah. Right? Uh, no, they're all Asian. 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 Oh, yeah, nigga, no. Asian. Yeah, my bad. It's the Asian heritage, all right? All right, cool. God damn. Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. Zero. He gave them a four four point five. I gotta see the fucking zero. <laughs> Goddamn zero. What that match was good. Oh, was Wrestling's good. for niggas. <laughs> and don't <laughs> fucking forget it. Wrestling is for niggas. Yeah. Let's go. 